Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Thursday, January the 28th. The year's 2021. Let's talk trading. Everything part three with Walmart. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine and differ from Walmart's. Walmart, everything. How's everything going today? Everything's going pretty good. I mean, it's been a profitable day and that's really at the end of the day that's what it, what matters you know it's just at the end of the day you know you got you got more money in the bank than you did at the start of the day and yeah i, I had i had a couple of losses but you know that's part of trading but overall everything's doing well so we've talked about you know yesterday we did everything all the different things we look at like at the top of the hour, like it is right now, you know, so we can get our minds reset and know what's going on for the day. And I think the other day we were talking about, you know, just all the different things trading. One of them being that, um, you know, you can do everything right and still take a loss, do everything wrong and get lucky and, and take a win. Um, you know, looking at the uh, Walmart line here for this current hour we're uh sitting above the 50 we ran up nice profit to be made and once again just a simple horizontal line trade um you know one of the things is that you know people say well which method do you use you show us all these methods and i say i just trade horizontal lines it's whichever one comes up um so maybe um when uh you pretty much look at some of the same things i do but we do things differently um so maybe you have a priority of, of what you look at or what you put weight on maybe you could share that with the uh, boys and girls and non-binary traders out there well one of the things i do is you know my, my primary thing that i really like doing is the walmart lines just because it's been so successful for me so i'm always looking for that that's that's the first thing i'm always looking for but now that I've been doing a lot of this dynamic support type trading um, that we've been doing as of late, I, I now have been doing that. And at first, I was kind of doing them as two different types of trades, you know, separating the two of them to, you know, out from each other and saying, okay, in the beginning of the hour, I'm going to go and look for Walmart trades. At the end of the hour, I'm going to go and look for dynamic support and resistance type trades. Now I'm kind of moving in a direction, and that's the thing about trading. I think you, you you evolve as traders. That you know, as you as you become better, you know, you you start to evolve. And now what I'm doing is I'm looking I'm looking for those trades where I can do a Walmart trade and a dynamic and support trade at the same time. Can I get a lineup of that? You know, and if you can get that, that can be you know a, a really really good trade. Um, to go and take doesn't doesn't happen all that often but when it does happen you know it's, it's almost like money in the bank so uh so i'm tending to go and start to do that a little bit more and you know uh you know you call me an addict that takes all these trades or whatever and i don't know if you've noticed that but my one of the things that has happened since I started to do that and look at it that way, I've cut down on the number of trades. I mean, the, the most number of trades I've had this year so far was about 14 trades in a particular day. Last year, that would have been a slow day. <laughs> now that's a very, very high day for me. So um, I think that's, you know, kind of how I look at everything. You know, it, how are all these things coming together? Yeah. So, you know, and along with the everything, you know, somebody says, TRO, you, you send me this thing. There's hundreds of indicators. You know, do I need to put them all on my chart? In fact, there was one trader out there um, that I, I, I teased. What I said, it's like you posted this chart. That's going to be a candidate for charts on drugs because I think I showed you and you looked at it and um, you said you can't even see the price. So. Yeah. Um, with everything, all these different indicators that I've written and other people have written, I mean, um, you don't really need them all, so you, you have to pare yeah. them down. So which ones do you, you rely on the most? I rely on most of the Walmart method, and I rely on most on the, uh, the DSR. No, no, I'm know? talking about the indicators. So Oh, the indicators. Right. Um, the, sweet spot, the sweet spot lines and the 3LZZ. You okay. know, and the HL5. Those are the, those are the three on every chart I own. 
that those three indicators are on it. Now, other charts, you know, may have additional things on it, but every chart I have has those three key things on it. Because with those three things, I'm able to go and find out where my key levels, of, you know, key levels are at, where there's a good chance I'm going to get some type of movement from it, where I need to, uh, uh, where I need to be getting in and getting out. Um, and then, and then I always have a separate chart that always has my smart ranges on it. So that's that's probably the fourth indicator I rely upon. And the smart ranges are, I have actually um, four instances of it. So I got the daily, the hourly five minute and the one minute i don't put the 15 minute on it but uh you know i put those four on it probably the only reason why i don't put the 15 minute on it because it doesn't fit on the chart nicely <laughs> <laughs> but if, but, if, but you know the thing is i'm getting enough information from those four columns and i just put them you know just made i just made a a, uh, a chart that's a black chart with just those numbers on it there's no price on it there's no the you know i've got the uh the actual uh you know, the candles and all that turned off. So all I see is those numbers. I'm able to just go flip there, look at it and say, okay, okay, I'm looking at a Walmart trade right now. We've only moved, you know, well, well right now I'll use the actual numbers. We've moved three pips. We're at zero percentile right now. Hmm. Then I got room. You know, if I, if I was at a Walmart line right now, you know, this would be a, a good place to go and enter, you know, if it was going in my direction because I got lots and lots of room. Now, yes, it's the beginning of the hour. That's, that's another benefit. You know, so, you know, the, the, all those things uh, come into play. But, yeah, so you have to say that those four indicators are the four indicators that I put on my chart. Yeah, that's kind of interesting because, you know, on the um, the Walmart chart here, basically all I have are the Walmart lines. I've got, you know, the um, the time of day up in the upper left-hand corner. Um, that's just the uh, TRO time. So you know what the bar server local GMT and when the bar ends. That's in this really small small font. And then in the uh, bottom right, I've got the uh, B clock that I modified. So it gives you the price, the the uh, pair uh, name, and then how long it's you know before the hour ends. So you right. Know, so and then the template name and the other ones I have up here I actually have them turned off uh, just so when I show this chart it can just show people how simple and it's funny because I was talking to a trader and so many of them go oh it can't be that simple <laughs> because it is you know yeah it really is <laughs> well I think what happens is is because once again since the the theme I guess is everything is that there's so many indicators out there and so many methods and a, a trader comes along a new trader comes along and they think that you know they're going to take on the market i mean i was the same way so i have to laugh at myself so i'm going to outsmart the market i'm going to take these bollinger bands and rsi and these i'm going to get the right moving average numbers and i'm going to use the ema instead of the sma and blah 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 <laughs> and you have a chart where you can't even see price and then you start to do linear regressions and standard deviations and then you get into the stochastics and macd's and ccis and money flow and you just just it's you know you just wind up you know driving yourself crazy and that's when you know one day I just finally threw all that stuff away and I just thought it through you know price moves up and down price has to range and if price has to you know ranges X number of pips and you box in the current price you know somewhere below that so for example on the hour when it starts, it's boxed in between these two, you know, these two lines here. And price ranges more than um, 10 pips during the hours that we like to trade it. Um, well, as we can see here, price broke through that 50 line. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, in fact, uh, that, that was a great place to enter. And just to go and talk about that, because I know traders like to go in here. Why was that a good place to enter? Well, if you look left, how many times has it broken through there and broken through for maybe two or three pips, you know? And then sometimes it broke through for as much as, you know, 10 pips. So that was a good Walmart trade there to go and take because of the fact that it's broken through several times, over, you know, in the last hour where you could have picked up two pips or so. And there's been 
one time where it broke through for 10 pips. Actually, two times it broke out through for 10 pips. So that was a that would have been a great trade to go and take, you know. And so, you know, I wish that we weren't on the video and I had my uh, trading platform up, you know, it, it uh, or trading profile up, you know, it would have been it would have been great to go and uh, to go and take that trade, you know, and. It just you know that that's what I mean by you got to look left and just see what's on the chart, you know. And the indicators just told me you know, that will sweet spot line indicator. All it did was it drew a line on the chart. It's sort of like it drew a line in the sand, and it was just that simple. And then I had the HL five there that went and showed me some closes from some previous hours, and they all happened right about at the same exact spot on that on that Walmart line within a within a half a pip. You know, the, of that Walmart line. So that tells me, okay, if it breaks that, you know, it's a goner. And as we see, we would have been, you know, you could have gone and if you would have just gone and taken five pips, you could have gone and just taken five pips. And my, my rules say to go and, you know, move your break even to a plus one. If you, if you stuck it, you know, and you did that, you'd still be in a trade right now and you potentially could be up, you know, you could have been up seven pips with it for the trade, you know, which would have been a really nice trade. So. Whether it gets the full 10, I don't know. But, you know, the thing is, at seven pips, I would have moved my stop loss to five and probably would have been bounced out at this point. But five pips, you know, for, you know, sitting there for four or five minutes, that's not bad. No, it's not. You know, and, and the other thing I wanted to go and just add real quick is that, you know, we talk about all these different indicators. It's funny, though, because a lot of times, when you look at all these different indicators that you've put together, Tiro, and you start looking at where those lines are, where those horizontal lines get drawn because of those indicators, so, so often they wind up getting dr driven, uh, drawn, not driven, but drawn in the same spots, you know, and so it's kind of funny, there's, a, there's almost a, uh, you know, a, 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 a coalescence of, uh, of, of, uh, of those indicators in a lot of times, not all the time, but more often than not. So it's kind of funny that you've got all these different indicators and you're looking at it from statistics from different angles, but they're all coming back to the same thing. We draw a line here and we look, go and take the, we take the, uh, take the trade in the direction of the movement. And you know, the, the next thing is, I don't know if it's going to work out or not, but you know what, that's trading. And what statistics we tell us that will work more often than not. Okay. That's what we do. Exactly. And it's just, uh, in fact, at, at last hour, we had that big drop. Uh, there was a three ball up there. Well, that was right around the daily open, if I remember correctly. Because um, you can see here that, oh, no, the daily open here was 76. That was on a different platform. Um, uh, and you can see you know, we missed this pivot right here, today's pivot, which we call it uh, 1.37, but it's actually 993. But we haven't taken out today's pivot. So that's kind of interesting. And we were yeah. we were looking at the uh, you know you were talking about the um, DSR dynamic support resistance um, scalper and that dynamic support resistance indicator. Um, I actually wrote that way back in the day on easy language for um, oh, what's it for uh, e signal and for trade station and then when I went came over to um mt4 that migrated so that indicator has been around since the 2000s you know like probably 2004 or something 2005 i can't remember when i wrote it at trade station but you know it's been around it's been proven yeah and it, and it works it's beautiful it works the only thing you got to do is you know it, it's like any other indicator an indicator doesn't tell you to go long. An indicator doesn't tell you to go short. An indicator does exactly that. It's indicating what the market's done, which gives you information, gives you that power of information to know, okay, things are lining up for the type of trade that I like to take. You know, so, you know, if you look right now, that two ball that's on the bottom there, you know, that two ball was actually at the bottom of that big red candle that came plowing down. You know, if you would have gone long there on the very next candle, you would have had a choice of either picking up two pips or being underwater by three or four pips, you know, depending on where you got out, you know, or if you stuck it long enough, you could now be up, you know, four pips. But the thing is, you know, it, that's all the indicator tells you is that there's a, there's a, an opportunity here, but 
you have to make the decision. And that's right, fellow traders. The fastest 15 minutes in trading is up. So remember, you don't need everything on your chart. You might just need one or two. So remember, it's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is the rumpled one over and out.